that's great. Alright, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Yawma. Yawma. Yaqumu Ruhu. Yaqum al-Ruh Yaqum al-Ruh Oh Yaqum al-Ruh Oh Meme will be connected yep. with Raw because of the Shadda and Raw will be pressed for one second Yaqum al-Ruh Yaqum al-Ruh Yaqum al-Ruh Yaqum al-Ruh Wal-Malaikatu 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 Saffa 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 Tofa 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 Yeah All right Shami you read Yoma Yakum or Ruhu Good job Wal-Malaikatu Sofa Restafa Sofa Yeah Okay Amina, you read Yawma Yaku Muru 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 Meme will be connected with raw immediately without pause, without stretching it. Muru And ru will be raw will be pressed for one second and alimavamata will be applied. More, yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, more, more. And the last letter. Ha, who? Yeah, yeah, more, who? Yeah, 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 I said it, come on, repeat it. Yaqum al-Ruhu Yaqum al-Ruhu Are you placing your finger below the letters? Um, no. Please do so then, come on. Yaqum al-Ruhu Yaqum al-Ruhu Yaqum al-Ruhu Yaqum al-Ruhu That's it. Next one. Wal Wal Ma Mada Mada Yal Yal Mala Fatu Wal Mala Ikatu Wal Mala Ikatu Next one Sof Sofa Yeah 
Both of you please read La Yatakalamuna And place your finger uh, uh, below the letters which you read please La Yatakalamuna Ella Ella Man Adina Man Adina Lahur Rahmanu Lahur Rahmanu Wakala Wakala Sawaba Sawaba Please read it La yat la yatakal la yatakal muna no bache kalla oh ya la yatakal la muna ya yeah. illa no what about ali madda uh, illa ya yeah. Min, wait, min Adina. Are you kidding me? Meme has a fatha. Oh, man Adina. Hmm. What's the reason behind stretching of Zal? Man Adina. Yeah. Lahu, lahu Rahman. I mean, la for Rahmanu. Yeah. Wakala. Oh my God. Wakala. Oh. Yeah. Wawaba. All right, that's great. Amina, you read now, placing the finger below the letter you should read. La la yat yata kal kalla la yata kalla muna la yata kal kalla muna ella Alimuta, please, at the end. Ella. Yeah. Man, uh, man, Adina. La hora. La hora. La hora. La hora. Manu. Yeah, Lahur Rahmanu. Lahur Rahmanu. Hmm. Next. Waka 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 Yeah. Tawa. Sawaba. Only one second of stretching. Sawaba. Yeah, good job. Zalika al-yawmul haqq. Because uh, oh. since cough has a shadda, we will press it for one second. ذلك اليوم الحق ذلك اليوم الحق حق حق ذلك اليوم الحق ذلك اليوم الحق فمن شاءت 
فَاتَّقَذَ إِلَى رَبِّهِ مَآبًا فَمَا شَاءَ اتَّخَذَ شَاءَ اتَّخَذَ إِلَى 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 رَبِّهِ Rabbihi ma'aba 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 oke ya read first sami kam sama aha bache you look at the red circle please oh the 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 Zali kalyau mul haq ka Zali Come on. Next, come on. Sha Sha at the hola. Yeah, Sha at the hola. Sha at the hola. Yeah. Ila. Oh ho. Only oh. one second. Come on. Ila. Yeah. Rabbi he. Oh, oh my sorry. God. Rabbi he. Yeah. Maaba. <laughs> one second. I said, come on. Ma'aba. That's better. Okay, Amina, you read. The 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 kal. Lam is a kusra. Come on. The likal. Yawma. Yaumal the Zalikal Zalikal Yaumal Yaumul me madatama Yaumal Yaw me make your lips rounder at me mul it's mul say mul Yo Mul. No, mul. Completely round, like beak of a bird. Mul. Mul. Yeah. The little young mul. Yeah. Um, hakko. 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 Yeah. ذلك اليوم الحق ذا ذلك اليوم ذلك اليوم الحق ذلك اليوم الحق ذا ذلك اليوم الحق next تمام Fama Fama No Fama Fama Um Ya Ya Atta Ya Atto Atto Ch 
saw that. Um, yeah, you press the tab for one second, shut down. Sha at must not be stretched, ha must be heavier. Hmm, try again from Sheen. Sha Sha at at the Hada Ha will not be stretched, come on. Sha at the Hoda Sha at the Hoda Next Um Um, um. Come on, read it easy peasy. Um, Hamza. Hamza has a kasra. What will be the sound? Um, yeah, and Lam is a standing patha. What will be the uh, sound? Il, il, uh, That's it. Rob, Robbie, Robbie, he, Robbie, he, stretch it. Robbie, he, yeah, next. Ma, 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 ba, yeah, okay. In, na, Second only. Yeah, yeah. What about Ali Bada? Ali Bada. 
I uh, said one, one second of stretching. Why do you say it more? Why do you stretch it more? Ada, Ada, Kariba. Yeah, good job. Next. Yoma. Yang Yang Torul Yang Torul Ro Yang Torul Maro Mar. I'm not sure. What did you read? Yang Yang Zuru Yang Zuru Yang Torul Mar O. Yeah. Ma ma koda ma koda ma sorry ma koda ma koda mat come on oh ma koda mat yeah wake up Yadahu. Why are you stretching it more? Yadahu. <laughs> yeah, one second of stretching. Yadahu. Yeah, that's it. Wayako Lulka Hiru. Ru must not be stretched even a little bit. Wayakulukahiro. Yeah. Ya. Ya lay. Ya lay. Oh. Next. Kuntu. To Turaba. 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 All right. I'm in a unit. In na no, no, in in na in na in na Na kom again. Another. Na another. Na kom. Another na kom. Um. Oh. 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 Cory Bang. When we are stopping. Cory Ba. Cory Ba. Yeah, good job. Um. Yeah. You. Your. It's um. the most easy word. Come on. Yauma. 
Yeah. Okay, when you sneeze, the one who sneezed, he will say, Alhamdulillah. Shamir, first of all, you read. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, all praises are for Allah. Okay, Amina, you read it. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Stretch the lam and read the ha at the end sound, the ha sound. Alhamdulillah. Like this. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. All praises are for Allah. Okay. 
Now reply to the person who sneezed. If a Muslim is sitting nearby or inside the room where you sneezed, he listened, you saying Alhamdulillah, then he has to reply uh, back. He has to reply you back by saying, Yarhamukallah. Yeah, uh, uh, Amina, you read? Yeah. Yarhamukallah. 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 Yeah. May Allah have mercy on you. It means. Okay, the first person who sneezed in the beginning, he will reply him back. Yahdi kumullah. Yahdi kumullah. Yahdi kumullah. Wa yuslihu. Wa yuslihu. Baalakum. Baalakum. Yeah, please read it, Shamir. Yah, yah, yah. Yahdi, come on. Yahdi, come Allah. Yahdi, come Allah. Next. Wait, is that a, what's the symbol above the the yah? We symbol are talking about this one. Yes. This is this is this symbol. Don't you know this symbol? Oh, it's Dhamma? Yeah. Okay. Why you slihu? Why you slihu? We are not stopping. Oh. Why you slihu? Next. Balakum. Yeah. Amina, you read. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 why you sleep? Why you sleep? Come on. Why you sleep? Yeah. Ba up. Ba lakum. Come on. Ba lakum. Yeah, easy peasy. May Allah guide you and rectify your affairs. Okay. Okay, Yusuf and Yaqub alayhi Yusuf alayhi was Yaqub's son. He had 11 brothers. Yusuf alayhi was very handsome and strong. And he had very good manners. So did his brother Binyamin. Okay, Binyamin and uh, Yusuf al-Islam was from one of uh, one mother, and the remaining ten brothers were step brothers. It means that they were from uh, Prophet Yaqub al-Islam's other wife. So. Uh, Yusuf Salam and Binyamin were normal brothers and uh, the rest of the ten were from the second mother which means they were stepbrothers. Getting my point? Yes. So all of them together were twelve in number and later on when they got married and their children increased, so uh, they became tribes. So they became seven tribes, uh, sorry, 12 
different tribes. Each brother made a tribe of his own. His descendants created a tribe of their own. So there were 12 tribes and collectively all of them are called Bani Israel. Israel is the title of Prophet Yaqub So Bani Israel means descendants or the children of Israel. So Bani Israel are the real original uh, Jews. Are you getting my point? Yes. Yeah, so in the time of uh, those who are practicing uh, Jewish people, they are actually, they were actually Muslims. Uh, however, their children, when they deviated from the correct paths, then they adopted Judaism, which is not Islam. So they added and modified different things in the in the Torah. Yeah, so Torah, the book of Torah, was revealed on Prophet Musa salam, and that book was intended for the nation of Israel or the Bani Israel. And they later on modified it after the demise of Prophet Musa. They changed the teachings and they changed for their own benefit and ease. Anyway, so Yusuf was very handsome and strong and he had very good manners. So did his brother Binyamin Because they were such good boys, their father loved them. Perhaps he loved them a teeny weeny bit more than the other brothers. Yeah. The other brothers were all very jealous indeed. One day Yusuf ran to his father to tell him about a dream he had. He said, O oh father, in my dream, eleven stars, the sun and the moon were bowing down to me. His father was very happy to hear this because he knew it must mean that Yusuf would become a prophet, just like he was and his father was. But he told him not to tell his brothers because they would be very, very jealous. Now, even though the brothers didn't know about the special dream, they were still very jealous and were making plans to kill Yusuf. One of the brothers said, let's just throw him in the well instead, then somebody will take him away. They were silly enough to think that they could do something so bad then become good and it could all be okay. So the brothers asked their father if he would allow Yusuf to go out with them to have fun and play. Their father said he didn't want Yusuf to go because he was afraid a wolf might get him if they don't take care of him. But they begged him to let him go and said that they were strong so nothing could happen to Yusuf while he is with them. Finally, their father agreed and all they, and they went all. They all went. Yusuf went with his brothers, but they had planned to get rid of him. They grabbed him and threw him into a well. Then they took his shirt, put some sheep blood on it, and told his father that a wolf actually had eaten their brother while they were busy racing. Poor Yaqub was ever so sad that his lovely son was gone. He didn't believe the brothers and he knew that his son must be alive. He prayed to Allah for comfort. In the well, Allah made Yusuf feel better and gave him some hope. Some men with camels and horses were traveling to Egypt. On the way, they stopped at the well that Yusuf was in to get some water. Of course, they did not know there was a young man in the well, so they were very surprised to find Yusuf they wanted to sell him as a slave, which is a person who does all the hard work for someone else with no pay. They locked him up and took him with them. So in the previous times, there were slaves. And whenever there were wars and the enemy uh, would lose the battle, they would become prisoners of war. So those prisoners of wars or POWs would be sold in the market as human slaves. 
and they would work for their masters without pay. Are you getting my point? Yes. Yeah. So in Egypt, uh, a very important man bought Yusuf Islam, took off his chains and kept him well. Yusuf Islam was amazed that a while ago he was in a well and he did not even know if he would stay alive. And now he was in a palace with comfort and he was grateful to Allah. His master saw that Yusuf Islam was honest with good manners and charm and someone who always did what he was told. That's why he made him in charge of his house. People all over the town heard of Yusuf, who was the most handsome man anyone had ever seen. But things didn't stay good, because the lady of the house became absolutely crazy about Yusuf and she tried to make him do something which is not allowed. When other women heard about this, they made fun of the lady of the house, so she invited them to her house and while they were cutting fruits, she asked Yusuf Islam to walk in. The ladies couldn't believe how beautiful he was. They forgot they were cutting fruit and cut their hands instead. Then they said that he must be an angel instead of a human. The ladies still wanted him to do something that was not allowed, but Yusuf Islam said he definitely wouldn't ever do anything that Allah does not like. So she had him thrown into prison. In prison, Yusuf was given a gift from Allah. He could tell people that their dreams mean, what their dreams mean, which is handy because some dreams can come true. One of the king's servants was in prison too and Yusuf told him that his dream means that he will work for the king again. He told the king's servant to let the king know that a man who hasn't done anything wrong is in prison. He hoped the king would help. But the king's servant forgot for a few years what a forgetful head he was. Then one day the king had a strange dream. He dreamt that seven skinny cows were eating seven fat cows and other funny things. Nobody knew what it meant, but then the servant remembered Yusuf al-Islam and the king sent him to go and ask about the dream. Yusuf al-Islam, uh, Yusuf said that the dream was all about how much food the people would be able to grow over the years. The king was so happy that he took Yusuf al-Islam out of prison and found proof that he had done nothing wrong. What's more, the king gave Yusuf al-Islam a very, very important job. Then came a time when people could not grow food because the earth was too dry. But Yusuf al-Islam has saved a huge amount of food from when the land was not dry. He told the king that they should sell that food to people from other places who needed it. And guess who turned up to buy some? Yes, it was Yusuf al-Islam's brothers who had thrown him into the well. All of the brothers had come except bin Yamin al-Islam. They didn't recognize Yusuf al-Islam, but he sure did recognize them. He didn't tell them who he was and he asked them to come back with bin Yamin. Then he secretly put the money they had paid back into their food bags. When the brothers got back, they asked their father to let them take bin Yamin al-Islam to Egypt. When they saw that the money had been given back, they comforted their father that the important man in Egypt wouldn't harm them. He had even returned their money. So their father let them take him. When Yusuf saw his brother, he told him secretly that he was his long lost brother Yusuf. They were both so happy that they hugged and cried. Then Yusuf made it look as if Binyamin stole the king's golden cup. He did that so that he could pretend he is punishing him and keep him with him. When the brothers went back about Binyamin, their father was very, very sad. So sad that his eyes stopped working. He prayed to Allah and he asked his sons to please go and find both Yusuf and Binyamin. The brothers went back to Egypt and begged the important man, the chief minister, who they did not know was their brother Yusuf for more food. Even though they did not have much money, Yusuf then told them who he was. They were amazed and scared, but Yusuf al-Islam forgave them and they all hugged 
Then he asked them to bring his whole family to him, and he asked them to take his shirt to their father and put it over his head, because it will make his eyes all better. He was right. It made Yaqub's eyes better and made him so happy that his sons were safe and alive. When the whole family got to Egypt, they all bowed down to Yusuf a.s. It was just what his dream in the beginning had shown him, with eleven stars, the sun and the moon bowing down to him. After that, they all lived happily in Egypt, Egypt together. MashaAllah. All right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah.